Hello and welcome back to Aviation Avi. Go where you feel the most alive. Today we'll be talking about a phenomenon which if occurred at an aerodrome can lead to catastrophic implications and it is runway incursion. We'll look into its causes and some of the mitigation measures and we'll also understand the types of runway incursions. To understand runway incursion, we will be looking into ICAO NX-14 Aerodrome Design and Operations, ICAO NX-19 Safety Management, ICAO NX-13 Aircraft Accident and Incident Investigation, and DOC 9870 that is the Manual on Prevention of Runway Incursions. So let us start with the definition of runway incursion. Any occurrence at an aerodrome involving the incorrect presence of an aircraft, vehicle or person on the protected area of a surface designated for the landing and takeoff of an aircraft is a runway incursion. So from this definition, we can eliminate the presence of an animal on the runway to be termed as a runway incursion. Let us look into some of the contributing factors for a runway incursion. Number one, breakdown of communications. Number two, pilot factors. Number three, air traffic control factor. Number four, aerodrome design factor. And number five, airside vehicle driver factors. These are the factors that can basically lead to a runway incursion. But with this video, we will try to understand the factors that are under the purview of an aerodrome operator to understand runway incursion from the perspective of operations and understanding ways to eliminate runway incursion. The first contributing factor for a runway incursion we are looking at is the breakdown of communication. As we know, the entire aviation industry has been standardized in order to avoid misunderstanding. So the use of non-standard physiology while communicating can lead to a runway incursion due to misunderstanding of communication between the sender and the receiver. The failure of pilot or vehicle to provide correct read back of an instruction can also lead to a runway incursion. There has been set procedures in order to ensure correctness of read back. If the procedure is not being followed, this can also contribute to a runway incursion. Similar call sign between various aircrafts or vehicles can lead to misunderstanding between the sender and the receiver which can also lead to a runway incursion. The similar call sign can also result in acceptance of clearance allotted to a particular aircraft or vehicle by another aircraft or vehicle leading to a misunderstanding and thus causing a runway incursion. Also blocked or partially blocked transmissions can also lead to runway incursion. So, in aviation, it is very important to follow standardized physiology while communicating. It is also important that the call signs assigned to an aircraft or vehicle are not similar to each other and are such that there are no chances of misunderstanding because one mistake in aviation can cost lives. It is also important that the communication devices used are properly maintained are, are in good condition. The next contributing factor to runway incursion are aerodrome design. The complexity of airport layout including roads and taxiways adjacent to a runway can play a major contributing factor for runway incursion because greater the complexity of airport layout, greater is the chance of misunderstanding of the routes or difficulty in wayfinding around an aerodrome which can cause runway incursion. The insufficient spacing between parallel runways can also lead to runway incursion. Aerodrome design factors contributing to crossing of runway for reaching a particular location on an aerodrome can lead to runway incursion. Thus, the master planning team at an aerodrome plays a major role during design of an aerodrome there are other installations at an aerodrome that can prevent or mitigate the chances of runway incursion 
which are the installation of runway card lights which are bright yellow flashing lights on two sides of the taxiway leading to the runway which are used to caution the pilot or vehicle drivers that they are about to enter an active runway. The same role is being played by the enhanced taxiway market. The installation of automatic runway incursion warning system can also lead to the prevention of runway incursion. The next contributing factor we are looking at is the airside vehicle driver factors. The failure to obtain clearance before entering a runway by vehicle operators can lead to a runway incursion. It is very important for the vehicle drivers operating at airside to comply with ATC instructions. There can be no communication errors that can be tolerated here. All the vehicle operators at airside must be trained on driving at airside. They must be trained on using RT equipment. And they must also be familiarized with the aerodrome topology in order to avoid chances of runway incursion. They must have the knowledge of aerodrome signs and markings. In order to prevent runway incursion, they may also be provided maps for reference inside their vehicles in order to enhance the situational awareness while driving at an aerodrome. Based on the severity of runway incursion, runway incursions are categorized into four categories. Category A, B, C and D. There are a number of factors that are considered while categorizing runway incursion based on the severity, which are number one, the available reaction time for either party involved, like the pilot or the vehicle operator. Number two, the evasive or the corrective action taken by either group in order to avoid greater impact of the runway incursion. Number three is the environmental conditions. Number four, the speed of the aircraft or the vehicle. And number five is the proximity of aircraft and the vehicle involved in the runway incursion. So let us look into the classification based on severity of runway incursion. As you can see in the image here, the severity categories for runway incursion are A, B, C and D. So let us start with the severity category D. Here in this case, the aircraft on the taxiway has crossed the runway holding position. So it qualifies as per the definition of runway incursion. But in case there is an arriving aircraft, there is very little risk or no risk of collision in this case. So this, this particular situation here can qualify for category D of severity of runway incursion. Now in the next case, let us consider the aircraft has crossed the runway holding position and has moved a little forward towards the active runway and in this case there is an arriving aircraft. So what happens is that there is ample time and distance to avoid collision between the two aircrafts. So this particular situation qualifies for category C of severity of runway incursion. The next case being the aircraft on the taxiway has crossed the runway holding position and has moved near to the active runway and again there is an arriving aircraft. Now we can very well understand that there is significant potential of collision between the two aircraft so this situation qualifies for severity category B of runway incursion. Now the fourth case where the aircraft has crossed the runway holding position and has moved very near to the runway and there is an arriving aircraft which has to take major corrective action in order to avoid a collision. So in this case, due to the corrective action, the two aircrafts have barely avoided a collision. In this case, the runway incursion falls under category A of severity of runway incursion. Now since we have understood that a runway incursion can have catastrophic impact, it is crucial that the safety of operations on the runway is safeguarded. This is done by the runway safety team at an aerodrome. The members of the runway safety team are the aerodrome operator, the air traffic service provider, the airlines or the aircraft operators 
and any other group with a direct involvement in runway operations. This team develops action plan for runway safety. It also identifies potential runway incursion issues and recommends strategies for hazard removal and mitigation of individual risks that are identified. So the runway safety team has a crucial role to play in safeguarding the safety of runway operations. So with this we come to the end of the video on runway incursions. So let us know in the comment section what are other mitigation measures that can be implemented at an aerodrome to prevent runway incursions. And also comment down below on various topics that you would like to watch on Aviation Avi. Thank you for watching. Do visit our website aviationavi.com for more such content and do follow us on LinkedIn, the link of which is given in the description. This is Anvesha Park signing off. Thank you.